Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I got another thing from Jeff. This kind of threw me for a loop here because it's in this really, really nice zippered case by this company right here, Phonak. And I looked up Phonak, and they make very experience, uh, very expensive um, hearing aids. And that's why it's a nice case. Jeff gets these cases used, different ones, and use them for storing his radios. So we're going to show you this radio right here. It's quite heavy. It's a Channel Master, model 6506. It's made by Sanyoy. And Sanyoy, of course, I mean, uh, Channel Master used to make Antennas, TV antennas and other antennas. And they got Sanyoi to make these radios for them. They're really classic looking radios. Look at that face here. AM only. Over here we have an external antenna jack. And then we have two earbud or earphones jacks. We got two jack output jacks. Here we have the on-off volume and the tuning knob. I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you inside. Let me get a little screwdriver here. This is how you get the back open. Get that started with the screwdriver and then just use your fingers. Yeah, not quite there. There we go. Here's the inside. The thing takes Four AA batteries, two here, and then this turns over, this case comes out, and then there's two more on the back. So it takes four batteries, lots of components, oh my gosh, several stages of RF and IF, big tuning capacitor with multi stages. And big AM antenna right here. Bus, it has the external antenna jack. It's very different. Pretty nice. Let me bring this up a little closer to this. Come on. Whoops. If I turn it over, you can see the name Sanyoi right there. If my camera would just focus for a change, eh, it's not too bad. Okay. Let's put that cover back on. See, it goes only goes one way, and that is this way. And then we'll tighten this back down. Nice bright red case. I like I like these bright red cases. There we go. They get the back on. So turn it on. This is AM only, and I'm in my office, so I got a lot of things that can interfere with the AM band. Ooh, plenty of volume there. Video also. Here yeah, we go. Just as long as you take on one more. Bubba, you Good know, sound. Big brother, big sister gimmick with that. This tuning is really smooth. So I do, you can hear the interference, that's probably from my mouse, believe it or not. Okay. Really in good condition. Nice, bright, and shiny. It does have, Jeff pointed out that it does have one little crack right here. That's it. Not, all the chrome's nice and shiny. It's not pitted. Pretty nice little radio. Heavy. <laughs> Even before I put the batteries in, it was heavy. Now it's really heavy. And bigger than what would fit in your hand easily. Way bigger. Jeff had this completely uh, electronically restored capacitors replaced. 
stuff like that. Six transistor. Pretty cool. I want to thank Jeff for loaning me these radios. And if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Bye-bye.